Hey defenders, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to be talking about PFSense. PFSense is an open source firewall that we all trust, right? There are a lot of companies that rely upon PFSense for their network security. There are even companies who use PFSense in their cloud instances. PFSense is known for its uh, rule writing ability that makes it completely GUI based. What if I tell you that GUI based flexibility that the firewall gave us made the PFSense firewall itself vulnerable to certain attacks? Yes, PFSense fell victim for multiple such attacks in the recent past. Let us talk about little more in detail. First of all, let us talk about what PFSense actually is. PFSense is a powerful open source firewall and a router software distribution based on FreeBSD Linux operating system. It is widely used in managing firewalls, routing and even as a VPN server. You can choose between the community edition which is completely free and you also have a commercial edition which is called the PFSense Plus. It is a fantastic tool. But like any other software, it has also been detected with some vulnerabilities recently, making a firewall product vulnerable to certain attacks. In July 2023, a group of security researchers from SonarCube discovered multiple vulnerabilities with PFSense CE 2.7.0 and PFSense Plus 23.05.1 and any versions below that. These vulnerabilities included two reflected cross-site scripting and one command injection flaw. And as you are already aware, what is a cross-site scripting? This PFSense has a GUI interface which is completely made over PHP, right? So what happens is the front end has certain validation issue which gave uh, across some very interesting attacks called the cross-site scripting attack which are non-persistent cross-site scripting. When I say non-persistent, it is not a stored cross-site scripting attack. These are all reflected cross-site scripting attack, right? There are two bugs that were detected in PFSense, uh, especially cross-site scripting bugs which are uh, reflective uh, attacks. And the interesting thing is these were uh, code named as uh, CVE 2023 4232 5 and CVE 2023 4237. These would allow remote attackers to gain privilege using a crafted URL. Okay, let me dig a little more about that in detail for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity.